हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू कंप्यूटर साइंस ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लास्ट क्लास वी कंप्लीटेड विद क्लासेस एंड ऑब्जेक्ट्स चैप्टर होप यू आर अंडरस्टूड दैट एंड टुडे वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग विद फंक्शन ओवरलोडिंग व्हिच इज चैप्टर 8 एंड द वेटेज ऑफ दिस चैप्टर इज 5 मार्क्स फर्स्ट वी विल गो थ्रू द objectives of this chapter the objectives are first one is like how do we declare and define a overloaded function and why do we need like what are the advantages of overloaded then we will study an examples how do we call overloaded function or in okay overloaded functions restrictions on overloading functions inline functions advantages and disadvantages of inline functions friend functions so how friend function differ than normal member functions next is the definition of function overloading so what is overloading overloading is nothing but polymorphism we studied polymorphism is one of the oops property the main definition of function overloading is two or more functions have same name but differ in the number of arguments or data types of arguments that is same name but different number of arguments or no arguments are the type of arguments passed to it you can differentiate the function and it also has to be noted that only on the return type of the function we cannot overloaded like suppose if int sum int a comma int b end with semicolon float sum float p comma float q that is the name of the function is same in example a return a integer value in example b return a float value so how many arguments i am passing here i am passing two arguments here so the number of arguments are the same but data types of arguments are different that is int a and int b these has two integer argument passed to it whereas these two are float arguments passed to it this is just a idea how to write overloaded function <laughs> next is the rules for function overloading there are certain rules that are overloaded function must follows so these are the three different conditions overloaded function can have different type of arguments different number of arguments different sequence of arguments to the right we have six different cases of overloaded functions number 1 we can see we have void print function print is the function name void is written type which means it is not returning value in this case we do not have any argument and the second function is again print that is name of the function is same however in this case we are passing an integer value as a argument and the third one we are passing one argument but this is different type of argument that is float type this satisfies the first case that is different type of arguments so number 2 and 3 examples of the overloaded function in the case of different type of arguments number 1 and 2 of the examples in the case of different number of arguments so in the first case we have zero arguments in the second example we have one integer argument is passed this is allowed the third 
केस सिक्वेंस ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वी कैन सी वी हैव एग्जाम्पल नंबर फाइव एंड सिक्स इन दिस केस वी आर पासिंग टू आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वन इज इंटीजर एंड वन इज डबल बट इफ वी ऑब्जर्व फाइव एंड सिक्स द सिक्वेंस दट इज ऑर्डर इन विच द आर्ग्यूमेंट्स वी पास इज स्वैप्ड दट इज इन नंबर फाइव फर्स्ट इज इंट एंड देन डबल इन नंबर सिक्स फर्स्ट इज डबल एंड देन इंटीजर नाउ लेट अस डिस्कस द डिक्लेशन एंड डेफिनेशन ऑफ फंक्शन ओवर लोडिंग टू ओवर लोड ए फंक्शन नेम एनी टू डेफिनेशन ऑफ द फंक्शन मस्ट हैव फर्स्ट वन इज ऑल ऑफ द फंक्शन इन द सेट हैव सेम नेम दैट मीन्स ऑल द फंक्शन शेर सेम नेम सेकेंड वन इज ऑल ऑफ द फंक्शन इन द सेट हैव डिफरेंट सिग्नेचर इट्स नथिंग ऑल ऑफ द फंक्शन इन द सेट हैव डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स और डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स इन सी प्लस प्लस कैन डिस्टिंग विश ओवर लोडेड फंक्शन बाय द नंबर एंड टाइप ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट्स देन फंक्शन ओवर लोडिंग इज इन वोकड ऑटोमेटिकली बाय द कंपाइलर इन दिस एग्जाम्पल द फंक्शन सम इज ओवर लोडेड द फर्स्ट फंक्शन सम दट take two integer arguments the second function sum that takes two float arguments and third function sum that takes two double arguments here we observe that all of the functions in the set have same name that is sum all of the functions in the set have different signature that is int int float float double double in this example both of these function declaration have the same name that is sum but same argument list that is int x and double y in both of these functions to overload the function sum are incorrect in this case the compiler will generate a syntax error note that the written types of this function declarations are different to overload a function each overloaded function must be declared and defined separately in this example the function product is overloaded two times first time with three integer values and integer as written value second time with three float values and written type being a float the compiler automatically choose the right type of function depending on the number of arguments next one is type def you must have know about type def if you want to give a new name to an existing data type that is called type def type def is a nothing but giving a new name to an existing data type giving a new name to a existing data type is nothing but creating synonym or changing name of it for example i have type def the general syntax is the existing data type next is a new name given to it that is type def float real it means that i have data type float yes as we all know then i want to name it as real type def float real so if i say float x real y nothing but both of float x and float of y only it is just a synonym you rename float as real for example void some float void some real in this example one float value argument and here it is also taking one float value only i am just giving new name to the existing one so basically means what sum of float only so it will not take that is if you type def and give different name but then it does not mean it different it is just synonym to the existing 
one so type def is used for naming functions then the function is not considered as different type okay students let us discuss why function overloading is needed c++ allows creating several function with the same name which differ in the number of arguments or type of arguments it is simply defined as the ability of one function to perform different task the overloaded function can simplify the programmer's life by reducing the number of function names to be remember okay next we will see advantages of function over loading first advantage is code is executed fast that is if the same function is called with different arguments using function overloading then the compiler automatically decides about the appropriate function by comparing the argument types used in the call to the function and calls the required function thus the code is executed faster second one is maintaining is easy as well as we all know maintaining is easy and interface between programs and real object and easier to understand and debug because we can easily remember the name other than giving multiple different names students next is the restriction on overloaded function overloaded functions must have different argument list if overloaded functions with same type and same number of arguments with different return values indicates incorrect declaration type def gives synonym for existing type therefore does not affect overloading mechanism calling overloaded functions overloaded functions are invoked just like other functions the number and type of arguments determines which function should be invoked for a particular call for example sum of 5 comma 10 it calls some function with two integer arguments sum of 5.257 comma 16 it calls some function with two arguments first one float type and second argument is integer sum of 3.23 comma 2.58 comma 5.123415 it calls some function with three arguments first and second are float type and third argument is double type students inline function and friend function we will discuss next video thank you